So if we do that, we can go ahead and draw our graph as such, where on the x-axis we're going to have the quantity, in this case vehicles, and on the y-axis we're going to have the price in dollars. So the simple thing that we have here is we have vehicles from zero to one, two, three, four, five vehicles. And for the price, we can see that out of these four columns, we are going to use $20 as the maximum value on the y-axis, $20. This has to be $10. You could also further um, specify $5 and $15 as such to give us a good range on the y-axis. So now I'm going to use uh, hopefully my different color markers or pens uh, to illustrate each column. Let's first graph ATC where we're going to have, in this case, one vehicle in 20, one vehicle in 20, two vehicles in 12.5, two vehicles in 12.5, three vehicles in 10.67, four vehicles in 10, five vehicles in 12. So somewhere around that point there. And we can draw our curve as such and label this ATC, ATC. Now we can use uh, my black pen here to also graph AVC. So at one vehicle, we have $10. At two vehicles, we have $750. Three vehicles, $733. Four vehicles, $750. And five vehicles, $10. Again, this is AVC. We then draw our curve as such, A, V, C. Now, one thing you should note, though, is A, B, C and A of C cannot be above A, T, C because if variable costs and fixed costs equals total costs, it would be impossible if variable costs, fixed costs is above A, T, C. So ATC is a function of ABC and a AFC. So let me use my blue pen again uh, to graph AFC. Here we have one vehicle in $10. There we go. Two vehicles in $5. Three vehicles in 3.33. Four vehicles in 2.5 five vehicles and two dollars. And here we can graph our AFC as such. And notice that AFC is going to decrease as you wash more vehicles. And this would make sense since your fixed cost on the lease of the van is ten dollars. If you were to wash six, seven, eight or more vehicles, the fixed cost you are paying will be less because now you're able to again uh, compensate for the amount of, of $10 per day for the vehicle that you're leasing. So AFC is going to decrease as you continue to wash more vehicles. So now that we have our ATC, ABC, and AFC, we can now draw our marginal cost curve. So here we have marginal cost, and here we have one vehicle, $10, two vehicles, and $5, Three vehicles and seven dollars, seven somewhere right there. Four vehicles and eight dollars, somewhere right there. And five vehicles and twenty dollars, somewhere there. So if we were to connect the marginal cost curve, it would look something like this. And to the best of my ability on this graph, like such. 
So we could say with confidence that as you wash one more vehicle, the marginal cost will increase more and more. And why? Well, because perhaps if you wash one more vehicle, uh, now you are a lot more tired than you were at the beginning. Uh, you are going to find yourself more exhausted. So that can be a cost on your physical, your well-being, your health when you wash one more vehicle. So what's important here to know is now that we have a graph, uh, now we can use the information that we have to give you and your small business better information. So the first thing is, again, if you have a small business, we want you to be successful. And how do you know if you're successful or not? Well, it really depends on how much you earn in profits, in profits. So before we talk about profits, we need to know exactly exactly at what price do you need to sell in order to be able to be profitable. So based on this, you could say that when you have price, which is equal to the minimum of AVC, the average variable cost and price, price is on the x-axis, I'm sorry, on the y-axis. ABC is the black curve. We can then say that the minimum of ABC is somewhere here, somewhere here, right around there. That is where P equals ABC. This is what we call in, in economics the shutdown point. The shutdown point. So this price in between three and four looks to be more around, let's see, three vehicles at seven. So maybe around seven, 20 something or so, uh, or even seven, let's put her seven forty. So if you are going to charge seven dollars and forty cents for your business you might as well shut down your business and this makes sense because if you are looking at this point of p equals abc you have enough revenue which would then be in this case let's say three and a half times seven point four you have enough revenue to pay for your worker or for you, the labor. But what about the actual remaining, which in this case would be the fixed costs for your van, your lease, uh, which you need to, to use to wash vehicles detail. There is no money coming in for that lease. So if you don't have money to pay for your total cost, you might as well shut down. Now the other point we are interested in is finding where price is equal to the average total cost. P equals ATC. Again, price on the y-axis. ATC is blue and it looks to be somewhere around here, right here, would be our price equals ATC. Now we could say that at this point that you are break even or you are breaking even with your business. So it seems to be that you are going to break even if you are going to sell um, your labor, your, your business, uh, somewhere between this point here on, on the uh, y-axis. And based upon this that we can see here, let's say it looks to be more like, hmm, maybe $11. $11. So if you were able to sell or charge $11 per vehicle, you have enough revenue, revenue, say 4.1, 4.2, 4.1, let's say, at $11, you have enough revenue to pay for your lease of the van, 
and for yourself the labor. Hence, when you are going to pay yourself for the labor and you pay the uh, automaker the lease for the van, you have zero dollars left in profit. And we call that break even, break even point. So here is a good example, a very simple example of how a small business, in this case, a mobile car wash, can be able to know exactly how to operate its business uh, and what points to avoid, what price to avoid from shutting down 750, I'm sorry, 740, and what price to maybe meet to break even. But usually we tend to say that businesses would want to maximize profit. So in this case, you don't want to charge less than $11 per vehicle. Uh, you want to charge maybe more. So this kind of kind of explain as to why the type of vehicle you're going to wash, uh, depending on the size, depending on the make, depending on the model, uh, might increase in price. Um, and this is cost of production.